630, it's a military-style school meant to be a safety net for high school kids who are on a path of destruction. Yeah, the TN Volunteer Challenge Academy is serving students for its second semester here in Tennessee. And as News Channel 5's Kyle Haran learned today, the only way to be a part of this school is to volunteer yourself. Rear count, oh. Morning start before daylight at this school. One, two, three, Lined up on wet grass, one, two, three, these 16 to 18 year olds are all here for the same reason. And it's not just to get in shape. If it looks hard, like a military boot camp, it's because it is. The TN Volunteer Challenge Academy is a nationwide intervention program. The key word here, voluntary. Can you believe they signed up for this? It's high school. What are you learning about research? But who would choose to spend their younger years in such a tough atmosphere? I'll be a senior when I go back to school. Well, Nevaeh Monroe, for one. I was falling behind in school, and I didn't like going, and I wasn't doing my work. And so my aunt put me in homeschool to think that it would help out and I would actually do it since I'd be at home and I wasn't doing it either. Monroe was combative. She didn't want to learn, but when her family filed an unruly charge with the courts, she had a choice. The judge in Winchester told me about this place or it was gonna be Judy. And so my aunt told me that I was gonna do this place because she doesn't wanna see me in Judy and I don't wanna see myself in Judy. Fast forward 17 weeks into this program, and learning is no longer a chore. Excellent, excellent. It's excellent. been really fun. I didn't think it would be this fun, because my first day I was like, oh my gosh, what did I do? The routine, strict rules, once seemingly impossible, now are a welcome part of Monroe's day. So how do you know a routine that will last for five months. It is a 22-week residential facility. That's the part one of our program. Leah Blocker works here. She recruits new students to the program. What we're looking for are the kids who are truant not going to school, the kids who have dropped out of school, those who have started making some bad decisions, maybe gotten a couple misdemeanors, uh, some unruly charges. We're looking for them to be able to take that individual, what does that say? apply some structure and discipline, and then see what they can become after that. A noble cause, one that seems to be working. I wake up before they wake us up now. For Monroe, five o'clock no longer seems as early, and her new goal of becoming a nurse is something welcome for the future. She's doing a great job. In Nashville, Kyle Horan, News Channel 5. Thanks, Kyle. The Academy won't accept students who are convicted felons. However, a student may be accepted as a way to have a felony charge dropped. Either way, it's their choice.